On to our next show. You know, westerns weren't very popular on TV for years, but now they're back. And anytime you watch late night TV, you see shows featuring stand-up comics. So it makes perfect sense, at least TV sense, to put the two together and come up with our next show, Comedy Corral. This is the show that asks the question, what would it have been like to be a stand-up comedian in the Old West? Let's see if it answers it. <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Dodge. Dodge? Oh, I spent a month there one weekend. <laughs> Dodge, Dodge, be a great name for automobile. <laughs> Those things have been invented, yeah. Dodge, Dodge. Hey, hey, Dodge, them bullets loop. <laughs> Dodge, Dodge. Anyone for a game of dodgeball? Or... Dodge. What are you doing, Dodge? A blacksmith. A blacksmith? Oh, I would have taken you more for a whitesmith. <laughs> I'm a blacksmith. And this is my son. He's a black jack. And this, this is my black llama fur. This is my pretty. <laughs> and, I'm t and I'm telling you, it was. I knew, I knew when I woke up this morning that today was going to be a bad day. I knew it. I woke up and all the sheets on my bunk are completely torn up. You know, it's like, it's like, when am I going to remember to take my spurs up before I go to bed? You know, is it? What is it? What, you know, what am I missing? What you know? And I, I'll tell you another thing. I'll tell you another thing. Today, I, it took me all day to get down here to the saloon. You know, it's like, don't you hate people that drive their buggies down the middle of the road? You know, give me a little. Am I being too sensitive about, you know, I, and my mother, oh, God, my mother, my mother, she's like, she's like driving me crazy, you know, she's always, she's like, she's like this, she's like this retired cowgirl, right, you know, and she's, uh, she's always after me to get married, you know, and I'm just, you know, she's always all the time bugging me about this, and I, and I try to explain to her, I try to say, you know, the only girls that are in the Old West are like school moms and barmaids, you know, and I try to tell her, and she doesn't do it. <laughs> Did you read the newspaper this morning? Looks like there was another big covered wagon massacre on the outskirts of town again. <laughs> I thought I heard something in the middle of the night. I thought I heard somebody uh, just faintly off in the distance going, uh, Don't scout me! the Indians did it, but, uh, you know, I got a feeling that those people got to take some sort of responsibility for it themselves. I mean, <laughs> I mean, after all, they're living in, uh, covered wagons! Why do they get houses? <laughs> I mean, I'm the Indians, or should I say, uh, Native Americans. You know, they say they don't get any respect. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me. I don't know about you. It's kind of hard for me to respect a guy who's wearing a line club! I mean, why don't these people get some clothing? I, I, I just crack up. I mean, I look at the guys, and, and they're standing there, and they're wearing pigtails! 